What is acetazolamide and how does IT work? Acetazolamide is a prescription medication used to treat the symptoms of glaucoma, acute altitude sickness, congestive heart failure, seizure, drug-induced edema, and epilepsy. Acetazolamide is available under the following different brand names, Diamox equals, DSC. What are dosages of acetazolamide? Adult and pediatric dosage. Tablet. 125 mg. 250 mg. Powder for injection. 500 mg. Capsule, extended release. 500 mg. Glaucoma. Adult dosage. Closed angle, acute congestive, glaucoma. 500 mg orally slash 4 followed by 125 to 250 mg orally every 4 hours. Sustained release, 500 mg orally every 12 hours. Open angle, chronic simple, glaucoma. 250 mg to 1 gram orally slash 4 once daily or divided every 6 to 12 hours. Sustained release, 500 mg orally every 12 hours. Secondary glaucoma. 500 mg orally slash 4, followed by 125 to 250 mg orally every 4 hours. Sustained release, 500 mg orally every 12 hours. Acute altitude sickness. Adult dosage. Immediate released, 500 to 1000 mg slash day orally divided every 8 to 12 hours. Extended release, 500 to 1000 mg orally every 12 to 24 hours. Start 24 to 48 hours before ascent and continue for 48 hours at a high altitude or longer, to control symptoms if necessary. Children younger than 12 years of age, safety and efficacy not established. Children older than 12 years of age. Immediate release, 500 to 1000 mg slash day orally divided every 8 to 12 hours. Extended release, 500 to 1000 mg orally every 12 to 24 hours. Congestive heart failure. Edema associated with CHF. 250 to 375 mg, 5 mg slash kg, orally every morning. Seizure. 8 to 30 mg slash kg slash day orally once daily or divided every 12 hours. Drug-induced edema. 250 to 375 mg orally slash 4 once daily. Epilepsy. Adult dosage. 8 to 30 mg slash kg slash day orally once daily or divided every 6 to 12 hours, not to exceed 30 mg slash kg slash day or 1 gram slash day. Children younger than 12 years of age, safety and efficacy not established. Children older than 12 years of age, 8 to 30 mg slash kg slash day orally each day or divided every 6 to 12 hours, not to exceed 30 mg slash kg slash day or 1 gram slash day. Extended release capsules, not recommended. What are side effects associated with using acetazolamide? Common side effects of acetazolamide include dizziness, lightheadedness, an increased amount of urine, blurred vision, Dry mouth. Drowsiness. Loss of appetite. Stomach upset. Headache. And. Tiredness. Serious side effects of acetazolamide include. Hives, difficulty breathing, swelling of the face, lips, tongue, or throat, increased body hair, hearing loss, ringing in the ears, unusual tiredness, persistent nausea or vomiting, severe stomach pain, easy bruising, unusual bleeding, fast or irregular heartbeat, fever, persistent sore throat, mental or mood changes, confusion, difficulty concentrating, severe muscle cramps or pain, tingling in the hands and feet, blood in the urine, dark urine, painful urination, yellowing of the eyes or skin, jaundice, blisters or sores in the mouth, rash, and itching. This is not a complete list of side effects and other serious side effects or health problems may occur as a result of the use of this drug. Call your doctor for medical advice about serious side effects or adverse reactions. What other drug interacts with acetazolamide? 
If your medical doctor is using this medicine to treat your pain, your doctor or pharmacist may already be aware of any possible drug interactions and may be monitoring you for them. Do not start, stop, or change the dosage of any medicine before checking with your doctor, healthcare provider, or pharmacist first. Acetazolamide has serious interactions with the following drugs. Lonafarnab. Methanamine. What are warnings and precautions for acetazolamide? Contraindications. Hypokalemia. Hyponatremia. Hyperchloremic acidosis. Hypersensitivity to acetazolamide or sulfa. Liver disease. Severe renal disease or dysfunction. Long-term use in non-congestive angle closure glaucoma. Cirrhosis. Long-term administration in patients with chronic, non-congestive angle closure glaucoma. Cautions. Use caution in COPD, emphysema, and concomitant high-dose aspirin. Use caution in diabetes, respiratory acidosis, and hepatic impairment. Adverse drug reactions common to sulfonamide derivatives, Stevens-Johnson syndrome and toxic epidermal necrolysis, TEN, may occur. May impair alertness or physical coordination. FDA-approved product labeling for many medications have included a broad contraindication in patients with a prior allergic reaction to sulfonamides, however, Recent studies have suggested that cross-reactivity between antibiotic sulfonamides and non-antibiotic sulfonamides is unlikely to occur. May impair alertness or physical coordination. Severe adverse effects including tachypnea, anorexia, coma, lethargy, and death reported with high-dose aspirin, use caution or avoid administration. Increasing dose does not increase diuresis, may instead increase the incidence of paresthesia or drowsiness. Im administration is not recommended due to alkaline pH, which may cause pain. Pregnancy and lactation. Use with caution in pregnancy if benefits outweigh risks. Enters breast milk, not recommended.